Before you start, exercise caution. You should always speak with your doctor before you start, stop, or change any part of your health care plan, including physical activity, exercise, or therapy. This video cannot and does not contain health care advice. It is for general informational and educational purposes only. Use of Whisper Slide is solely at your own risk. This is standing soft knees, hip abduction on the right. You can do 10 reps. The knees are not fully extended. Hip abduction squat. Uh, notice how the knees are bent uh, probably to uh, 80, 70 or 80 degrees um, on the support leg and repeat this 10 times. supine bed hamstrings so the whisper slide is uh, towards the end of the bed it really doesn't need too much fixation because the buttocks are going to be resting on the on the end covered by a pillow for comfort she's going to lie up there on her back it's been preset you can see the foot position and now she's going to do 10 reps Supine hamstrings on the treatment table. So you can see how she's positioned in the head pillow. The second pillow is going for comfort over the base, which will actually stop the uh, whisper slide sliding up the bed. Uh, she hooks her foot under, lying there, and is going to do five or um, ten reps. Supine knee extension. This is for the left side. You can see how the band is fixated um, at the end of the table using a manual therapy belt. Normally we would do 10 reps uh, with the resistance that has been allocated to you. supine knee extension you can see here that it's on the treatment table but it's fixated via the post up the head end um, and this can be fixated in in many different ways but you're going to need a manual therapy belt for this so we're going to lie in supine there perfect so now you're just going to do five reps or ten reps uh, whichever band resistance you're using. Hip extension erect but using the chair for balance. Notice how the support leg is slightly soft with the knee bent. She's pushing back 10 times. Using the chair, this is hip extension with flexion, getting the gluteals coming in. Her base is hip width apart for stability, and she's going to repeat this 10 times. Trunk is flexed to 40 degrees. Standing soft knees, central hip extension. So notice how the support foot is in the middle, pushing back, requiring some core. She's going to repeat this 10 times. Hip extension with a narrow base. Notice the support foot is on the ground to beside the whisper slide. She's pushing back, uh, standing erect, and going to repeat 10 times. Hip extension wide base. Notice how the support leg is out to the side to provide stability. She's standing erect, knees slightly soft, and she's going to repeat this 10 times. Hip extension central flexed. Notice how she the trunk is flexed to bring more of the gluteals in. Her foot, support foot, is in the center, and she's going to repeat this 10 times. 
hip extension with the narrow base and the trunk flex for more gluteals. She's pushing back, knee is slightly bent and she's going to repeat this 10 times. Hip extension, trunk flexed, wide base. Notice how the support leg or left leg is slightly bent, standing wide, and she's going to repeat this 10 times. Sitting double hamstring, so the heels are on the buffer, uh, they're pulling back, sitting on the edge of the chair, and the whisper slide is fixated to a table uh, with the strap. Sitting hamstring curls, this requires the whisper slide to be fixated to a table chair or something so it won't slide back. Here we are using a belt around the table and now we can pull back using hamstrings. Double knee extension sitting, uh, notice the heels are in, the toes are up um, and either pushing out or one knee can control the other. Sitting knee extension, notice the chair is in the hole for stabilization and the heel is on the buffer pushing out into knee extension. We have a stiffness in the right knee so we want to use the bands to stretch the knee into flexion and they will pull the slide back. So to load the slide you're going to push it out with the good leg so just push on out now with the left. So it's loaded up there. Now put your stiff right knee on and now take your left leg off. So now the, left, the right leg is loaded and the springs or the bands are pulling the knee into flexion to stretch. And you come up to where it is stiff and you hold it for 10 seconds. Now push on out again with your right leg. So push on out so it's a bit more comfortable and you leave it there and rest and again then let the bands pull you into further flexion stretching and getting more flexion each time. Sometimes we want to increase bend of say for instance in this case the right knee so what we did is we pushed the slide out with the right knee and um, then put so sitting hamstrings, the whisper slide is stabilized with the belt and the leg of the couch and she's pulling back with both legs. She's going to repeat 10 times. For the left hamstring, the whisper slide is held uh, against the, the couch with a, a belt stabilizing so one slide back. Uh, she's using her left leg obviously, um, pulling back, repeating 10 times. So this is right-sided hamstring and what we've done is secured the uh, board with just a regular belt around something sturdy like the base of the couch. She's hooking her heel under and repeating 10 times for the right leg. This is sitting lateral rotation and then we have the whisper slide um, stabilized against the wall. Uh, there's minimal um, adduction of the hip. It's mostly just lateral rotation. I'm going to repeat 10 times. So we're doing lateral rotation of the right hip and then the idea is that the femur rotates. There's some adduction there and she's going to repeat this 10 times. Sitting quads push out. This is bilateral so she's sitting right on the edge of the chair. The board is stabilized against the wall. The heels are on the buttress. The toes are up so they won't slip. She's going to repeat this 10 times. So this is sitting, sitting quads push out on the left. The foot is on the buttress. She's going to repeat this 10 times. The whisper slide is against the wall for stabilization.
quads push out on the right, so you're just pushing on out. And then when you keep your toes up, then it won't slide off the buttress. So you're gonna repeat that 10 times. So this is sitting quads push out. Notice how the chair is in the hole. So the left leg of the chair is in the hole for the left leg. So she's pushing out. She's going to repeat this 10 times and doesn't need the whisper slide um, stabilized against the wall. This is quads push out sitting and notice how the leg of the chair is in the hole at the, on the end plate for stabilization so you don't need a wall to stop the whisper slide moving away as you resist. She's going to repeat this 10 times.